hello viewers welcome to the channel today's video is a quick demo on types and tracks that we can use to improve our design workflow on freecad using keyboard shortcuts the use of keyboard shortcuts as you had seen in these short demonstration videos increases our speed on calling commands so in this video i will be showing some default keyboard shortcuts and also how to set new keyboard shortcuts for more commands if you are really interested on how to improve your workflow using keyboard shortcuts then follow this video until the end because i will also be showing you how to define keyboard shortcuts so that it's easy to use and remember them i hope you like this video and please if you're not subscribed subscribe and also if you want to support the channel content you can do that just to go to the description of this video and you'll find a link to my coffee page in which you can make a donation to support the channel content thank you and let's get started first let's see some default keyboard shortcuts on freecut some of the default keyboard shortcuts we can find in these tools here in the file tape for example to create a new document we have this shortcut here in this short description ctrl plus n to create a new document and to open a document ctrl plus o to save a document ctrl plus s and in the clipboard tape to cut we have ctrl plus x and to copy ctrl plus c and to pass ctrl plus v and now in the d tip to undo we have ctrl plus e and to redo ctrl plus y and to refresh a document we have f5 okay and now let's open a document to see how the video keyboard shortcuts works okay so let's press ctrl plus o to open a document and now i select this cheap assembly double click Okay, and as you can see now we have a document to open it here first let's go to the drawer styles click here and you will see this window with these shortcuts of these all drawer styles for example if we want to change to wireframe we have these shortcuts here v plus 3 to show that draw style we have v plus 6 and to flat lines we have v plus 7 so okay let's see this well, let's change the draw style here to wireframe to change to wireframe we need to press v plus 3 and as you can see now we have this draw style for this model and to change to shadow we press v plus 6 okay and we have this and to change to flat lines we press v plus 7 and we have this okay and also we can change these views these views here for example if we want to change to isometric view we press we press zero let's see how this works press zero and you'll see this but uh, also we can use the home button to change to isometric press home and you will see this okay and now to change to the front view we have one to the top view we have two to the rent we have to press three and to rear four to bottom five and left six okay and now if we click in this box here we can see these shortcuts here for example if we need to change to orthographic view we press v plus o and to perspective view we press v plus p okay and now let's change to the A2 plus or paint to see two keyboard shortcuts on A2 plus or paint. Click here and select A2 plus or paint. Okay, the two keyboard shortcuts we can find in these two tools here. If we want to import a part from an external file, we can use this shortcut here, Shift plus A. And to import shapes from an external file, we can use Control plus Shift plus A. Okay. And now let's change to sketch workbench to see one keyboard shortcut. First, let's close this document. Let's change to part design workbench. And here, create a new document and also create a new sketch. 
uh, let's select x y point and here we'll do uh, rectangle okay the keyboard here we can find when we are leaving a sketch to leave this sketch we press escape two times in this way and you will leave the sketch okay okay so this is the sum of the default keyboard shortcuts on FreeCAD now let's see how to set new keyboard shortcuts to set new keyboard shortcuts we need to go to tools and then customize and now in this window we need to select the keyboard tape and then go to category here we can select tapes or even workbench let's start by setting keyboard shortcuts for sketcher workbench so scroll down here and look for sketcher select sketcher here and now we're able to set the new keyboard shortcuts for this workbench but when you are setting new keyboard settings, I recommend you to sort them by each group because it will be easy to remember and use. For example, for the sketch of page, what we do, let's close this window and then change the workbench here to sketcher. And now if we click here in sketch, we can see these are groups here. For example, here we have the sketcher geometry groups and these are comments. In Sketcher Constraints, we have this, okay. Sketcher Tools, we have these tools here. For the Sketcher Geometry Tools, we can just use one button and two buttons in case of duplicated keyboard shortcuts. For the Sketcher Constraints, we can start the keyboard shortcuts with C and then the first letter of the constraint. So, okay, let's do that tools customize and keyboard here category and here select sketcher okay scroll down here and first here we find this constraint angle to set the keyboard shortcut we go to this area here okay we go to new shortcut okay click here and what we do here, we'll set, we'll press C plus A, okay, this first letter here is the group of these, of this common constraint angle, and this last letter here, A, is the name of this constraint here, constraint angle, angle, and now to assign this shortcut as current shortcut, we click in assign button, okay, and now if we use this shortcut here we call this command constraint angle okay and now for this constraint constant here we can set cc okay and then sigma and to constraint distance we can set simple d and assignment okay and for constraint horizontal we can set Dimension horizontal and then a ceiling. For constraint vertical, we can set dimension vertical and a ceiling. For equal constraint, we can we can set we can set equal and a ceiling. For constraint horizontal, we set C plus this letter here and a ceiling button. For constraint parallel, we set C plus B and a ceiling. For constraint perpendicular, we can set C plus EP and a ceiling. So here must be C plus PP and a ceiling. For constraint point onto object, we set C plus O. Okay, and now let's go to sketch uh, geometry. For example, to create a line, we can set L and a sigma. Rounded rectangle, we can set rounded rectangle, error and a sigma. For creating a point, we can set PP because 
this first page here will use to the polling command so we are seeing this shortcut to this command and now for the polling command we only set this letter b and same to create a simple rectangle we can set array and sig to create a centered rectangle we can set c plus array and a signet to create a slot we can set s and a signet okay and for external geometry we can set a we can set this letter and a signet okay and now let's change to the part design workbench select part design workbench here okay first let's see the group of these all comments close this window and okay and now let's change to the part design workbench and then click here in part design and you'll see these groups here additive features additive primitives subjective features and subjective primitives and apply patterns and dress-up features we have fillet here chamfer draft and thickness okay so let's click in tools customize and then keyboard tape category and here we select part design okay and now we can see these all comments available in the part design workbench so for example this active lx here we can press a and this letter here and assign it active loft active pipe to create a body we can set this letter b and assign it okay to chamfer we can use one button we can set c and assign it Okay, to the fillet operation, we can set F and a seal. To the groove operation, to the whole tool. Okay, scroll down. And now to the linear pattern, we can set LP. To the mirror, we can set M. To the multiform from tool, you can set MT. To this command, create a new sketch. We can set S and C. To the pad operation, this operation is known also as extrude. So we can set A. We can set this data and assign it. To the pocket operation, we can set B. Okay, and to the polar button, we can set PP and submit to the revolution, we can set error. To the subtractive loft, we can set SL and subtractive pipes, SP. Thickness, we set T and a signet okay and now we press close to close this window and now let's see how to work with these all keyboard shortcuts let's draw uh, a line press P to select all line tool and draw this line draw this sketch here Now, for example, let's set this line here to be a horizontal line. If we go to sketch our constraints and then with the mouse here, we can see that I've got here in this short description. Okay, so let's press, let's make this line horizontal and this line here vertical. Go to the vertical constraint and you'll see this and press V. And now, for example, let's set this line here equal to this line if we leave the mouse here we can see this constraint this shortcut here press equal 
on the keyboard and you see this okay and now let's leave this sketch here escape two times press home and now for example let's create extrusion of this sketch here if we leave the mouse here we can see that we can see that the shortcut is a just click the keyboard shortcut and you will be able to use this and click ok and for example now we need to create pocket here in this face so we select this face here and if we leave the mouse here we can see the shortcut is p so okay let's select this face here and press p okay and now as you can see we call this command here pocket so for example let's remove eight millimeters of material here and enter so okay viewers this is what we can do with keyboard shortcuts thank you for watching this video if you like this video please leave a like a comment and share this video with your friends and if you want to support the channel you can do that just go to the description of this video and you'll find a link to my qualified page thank you for watching i hope to see you in the next video